we're preparing for our next cool chat, which is on managing permissions, and thought it would be helpful to have a brief video to show you about uh, roles and permissions in Cool Hub. To start off with, I'm going to go to this welcome menu and look at the control panel. It's really difficult to understand much about permissions without understanding something about roles. So I'm going to take a look at the roles here, and you can see that there are 11 types of roles in Cool Hub. Your role in Cool Hub determines your level of activity and the type of responsibilities you have in this community. It ranges from a guest, who is an unauthenticated user, someone who hasn't signed in yet, all the way up to an administrator, who is a person like me with uh, the ability to do just about anything on the site. The other roles that you find yourself in as soon as you log in are the role of a user, so you've logged in, a power user, and all users in Cool Hub have been granted power user privileges, is that you have your own public and private pages. And you can see these most readily by visiting your own project called My Project in this site. You're also an owner of things that you create in this site. But in terms of projects, there's really two very important roles we want to focus on. One is the community owner. This is the person who creates the project. Community owner, as you can see, is a super user of the community and is able to assign community roles to users and also determine permissions. And a community member is someone who joins a project or is invited to join a project and has a role in that community. But a community member can't set roles for other people. Using my administrator's view of this panel, let's click on the Actions button over here for Community Owner. This allows us to determine what the roles are for the community owner. Permissions such as these are granted either by clicking them off or on. So if I wanted to remove a permission, I click so the arrow doesn't show. And that is pretty much the way it works for all permissions in this site. Back at the members homepage, let's next take a look at the projects. These are the projects to which I belong. And let me take a look at Beyond Web 2.0 and click the Actions button. One of the buttons here is Assign Members. Using this button as a project owner, I have built-in permission in order to look up someone who's a member of Cool Hub and add them to the list of members. Once I find that person, I can update the association and they're in. Another feature of the Action button for a project is assign user roles, which also has to do with permissions. Click that and we can see that this project has three types of roles, the community owner, the member, and the administrator. Returning to the members homepage and going to the welcome menu, scrolling down to manage pages, we find another place where permissions may be set. And this is the page level. We scroll down to the bottom of this we can see there's a permissions button next to save. If we click on this, we may see which roles are able to view this page, which ones may update it, and which ones may add a discussion. So in this case, a guest, a person who's not logged into Cool Hub, may view this page. A community member, who's a member of the guest project, and that includes everyone in Cool Hub, may also view it and add a discussion to this page. Now let's take a look at the applications on this page. The first one I want to look at is Announcements. And you can see we're going to go to this toggle control here that has the three dots. And under Configuration, which is also the gear icon, we can see permissions for announcements. Who may add an entry, who may configure announcements, and who may view them. This is very similar to other sorts of applications here too. Here's a web content display and they all act like this. So we click configuration and here's a permissions button for the web content display. And We can see who is able to configure this type of application, this specific application, and who may view it. 
So we haven't given members of the project the ability to configure this specific web content display. It might be a good idea to give other members the ability to do this. It depends on the nature of the project and how open you want the collaboration to be. In this case, our web content display is pretty much just informational and doesn't really need to be updated by any member of Cool Hub. Here we are at the blog in a project that I own and let's see where permissions are here. First, let's check the three dots, the configuration, and here's the permissions button. And this allows us to see who's able to view the blog and who's able to configure it. These are the settings that come by default when you create a new project in Cool Hub. So if you wish to change these permissions, you have to go through this permissions tab, click on another rule to add or, or subtract, and then submit the changes. In addition to the top level permissions for the blog, Next to blog entry is a permissions button that does something different. This determines which roles may add an entry to the blog. So there was one here, there was another set of permissions here, and there's another set here. And this is for the individual blog. And you can see which roles now may add to a discussion for this posting, may delete the post, delete the discussion itself, modify permissions, update the blog, update the discussion, and view the blog. LifeRay gives a lot of different layers of control to applications, and this is an example of it. These are the settings by default. You can see that the owner is really the one who's empowered here, the owner of that blog. He's also the owner of the project. Uh, community members at this point can't add a discussion to this. And so if you wish to have them more involved, go ahead and, and add that. Don't know if you want them to have the ability to delete anything or to change permissions, but maybe to update a blog. That might be okay with you. Submit those changes and then that affects that post. this post for Cool Hub webcast July 21. If we go to welcome new members and see what those permissions are, we'll see it's the basic same ones again, although this one had enabled uh, community members to add a discussion. So they're all set individually and permissions are something to pay close attention to. On the one hand, they give you control over the site and also allow you to give control away. Giving away control in a collaborative innovation environment is really a key to getting more people involved and having a, a healthier mix of creative ideas, even disruptive ones. But you don't want it to devolve into chaos either where different members are just eradicating parts of the project at will. So use your judgment. Maybe start off by giving some control, and then as time goes on and members get used to the site, giving members more and more control through the permissions.